Hi, my name is Mitch from Adreno Melbourne, and I, today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about the gear I use here in Victoria, um, what you need, what you can get from us, and um, probably what works best as well. We'll start with the fins. So I run Divar carbon blades. Um, I'm a bigger guy, so I like to use the medium stiffness. I find it just gives me that little bit more power during the current, um, as well as getting that little bit of edge on my mates. So I sort of stick with those. The carbons for the dive are fantastic. I've had them for about three years. I no, I've scratched them to bits, but no wear and tear or anything like that. No downgrade in performance at all. They've just been fantastic to me, and I'm probably always going to be dive R favoured. Um, socks wise, I do a lot of tr um, hiking as well as a um, little bit of walking, so I like to use socks that have a little bit more sturdiness on the um, foot, on the sole. The Gore-Tex lining from the Boucher socks as well as the Rob Allen's, fantastic. I've worked, walked two Ks in them, they've been perfectly fine. Uh, it sort of works well with me, so they accommodate my foot pockets as well. I myself fit a 4mm sock into my foot pocket as well as I can fit a 2mm sock with a bit of fin keepers as well, so they work, they work positive for me. Next, my suit. I wear a 5mm open cell suit from Rife. Uh, I, I decided to go Rife just because I knew they were high quality, high, high grade Yamamoto neoprene and it's just a comfortable fit. I've worn a lot of suits in the past. I've worn multiple, multiple different brands and I just found Rife to be the perfect cut for me. The knee pads are great. It's just a really nice suit for Victoria as well as the camo. Being brown, I look, I sort of, being a bigger guy, I look like a seal but that's alright though. At least I'm not in a black wetsuit, that's fine, um, but it is still a very good quality wetsuit and a good price as well. Weight belt, I use a standard weight belt, just rubber as well rather than webbing. I, um, when I first started spearfishing I used a webbing weight belt. started doing my freediving course, getting a little bit deeper. I went down to about 6-7 metres and I felt my webbing weight belt slipping up to me. And um, I thought, yep, it's time to upgrade to a rubber weight belt. Hasn't slipped up at all ever since. Um, on my belt, I use one of our Adreno FG knives. It's perfect, it's got a yellow handle, stainless steel blade, got that line cutter as well as a straight and a serrated edge. Really good, just because I've dropped my knife five times I think, and I've found them five times. Just because of that yellow handle, sitting on the weed bed or anything like that, just stands out. It's a great, great product, and um, definitely worth the money. Cray diving, that's my main passion down in Victoria. Um, I like to use a really good torch. Big blue torches, Fantastic, they're awesome, they're easy to use, not too light. I use a little bit of grip on mine as well from Bunnings. It works well, just looking through the ledges and everything like that, as well as when you've got it on your hand, it's quite a nice um, nice feel. I've got a lanyard on mine, um, so it wraps around my wrist. I've um, put a bit of a rubber stopper on it, just so I make a little bit more extra reinforcement. But apart from that, cray torch is definitely needed for cray diving. We'll move on to my mask and snorkel. I've got them here. I use the Adreno Low Volume Kaloo, uh, the Adreno Kalu Low Volume Mask, as well as the Mares Snorkel. Well, that runs away. Both incredible products. The Low Volume Mask is great for me. I've tried a lot of masks in the past. I've found they just didn't sit right on my face. They leaked. They fogged up. Everything like that. Um, but I found this one to be the fantastic for me. Just smallest mask. It's it's fantastic in a way. It's low volume, so the space between your eyes and the glass is a lot, lot. Um, less compared to if you've got a one standard lens and it's perfect at depth for free diving. The mask, I've got the Mara's dual snorkel. It's, I've gone through five, six snorkels. I've found this one to be the most comfortable in my mouth as well as it's got quite a lot of flex. Not too much, still sturdy enough, but when you're sticking your head in cray holes all the time, it still bends down a little bit just to give you that, so don't get stuck. Um, moving on to gloves, I use our Ocean Hunter Kevlar gloves. They're Kevlar you need for crayfish. They're a little bit spiky. Obviously in Victoria we can't shoot crays, so we have to use our hands. One, you've got to be quick. Two, you've got to have protection. That Kevlar lining makes it so much easier to grip the crays, as well as their spikes on the front of their horns don't go straight through your hands. Moving on to guns, I use the simple Rob Allen carbon gun. One metre in length is probably perfect for Victoria. If anything over that, you start looking offshore. Um, but anywhere from an 80 centimetre to 100 centimetre gun is perfect. Carbon necessary for Victoria? Probably not. It's more designed, um, I'm just I like the look of the carbon. It's a little bit better than my alloy. Um, but with the alloy guns, we drop our guns a lot in Victoria to mark a lot of spots. They get banged up, so I'm not that phased about it. Carbon is quite strong, but one metre in length, twin bands with a 7mm shaft, perfect Victoria, hunting all different fish from snapper, whiting, 
anything along those lines and it'll even take down a kingfish if you're after it, if they swim through. Moving on to float and float line in Victoria, we have a lot of boat traffic in the bay, um, especially from September onwards with squid season. You get a lot of guys bumping into you at specific spots along the, uh, along the coast and um, you want to have something like a really big float and flag, something like this. The Adreno float and flag is fantastic just because this flag sits upright. You get a lot of floats that sort of have flags that sit right on the, um, on the level of the water and the boats actually can't see it. Um, so having one that stands up a little bit more, I myself have put um, high-vis yellow tape on mine just so it's, if you've got a torch or anything like that in the night, you can actually see it from a boat. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to stand out. I've had a few boat incidents, um, they've been knocking into me when I'm hunting my squid. Um, it's not fun, but having more safety is better in the water, that's for sure. As long as float lines go, I use our Adreno PVC 10 metre float line. Um, I have three float lines. I have a, our Adreno 10 metre and 20 metre, and then I have the Rife 30 metre float line. Um, 30 metre is probably not much use in Victoria. We don't really dive that deep here. Um, it's a bit overkill, some more blue water trips. 20 metre is perfect if you go for kingies at the prom or um, bluefin out in uh, Portland. But 10 metre is my all go, all to, all, all round go to float line just because of the fact that. It's very um, useful. Having your float close to you is great. Um, it helps keeping close to your float so the boats don't run into you. As well as I don't really dive deeper than 10 metres in Victoria. Um, I sort of hunt my craze in 5 to 8 metres and anywhere less than that. So it's anything over that's a bit of overkill. Um, when I'm diving, I use my gun as a marker for different cray holes, but alongside that I have an anchor belt on my belt. This is fantastic. This is the one thing I make sure I have every single dive, just because it makes it a little bit easier for me to mark a hole. If I find a good cray hole that has three or four crays in it, I want to make sure I know where it is. If I leave that, if there's a bit of surge running through, I'd rather have that locked down so I know exactly where to go. A little story, I've, um, I was diving with Luke one time, we had a lot of swell and um, we got knocked off our cray hole and we didn't know where it was. Luckily, we had the anchor nearby and it was right near the hole, so it sort of benefit us from finding that hole because it's had a fair few crays in it. Um, but apart from that, that's really all the gear I use in Victoria. Um, it's perfect for anything, it's a good beginner setup and everything like that. But thank you for listening.